WFNN. The Tiger Financial News Network. TFNN. Headline News Update. Good morning, everyone. On this last day of January the 31st, Tuesday, we're looking at the Dow down six at 33,710. One of the things we were looking at, at least I was looking at, was within the context of the Dow chart, it's just kind of stuck in a trading range. It's kind of um, it's a little bit overbought, and I can see it pulling back a little bit here. If you look at the S&P, which is, uh, it was up quite nicely. Now it is down... Oh, it's off the high. It's up seven at 4,024. It went right to the uh, resistance on the left side, that 4,100 area. It's pulling back a little bit here. The 200 period moving average of 39.96 is key support. We're looking at the QQQ. It's almost the same thing in each of the charts. Uh, the potential peak F in the uh, in the S&P, potential peak F in the QQQ. It's up 34 cents at 290.65. Uh, the weekly chart is starting to improve a lot. The IWM, the Russell 2000, of course, this is buying day today. Usually at the end of the end of the month, you get some uh, buying pressure. We saw that from early in the morning. We're looking at the IWM up a dollar 22, holding quite nicely at 188.14. Now this is going to be the issue here. Gold uh, was down very sharply. Now it's up four at 19.42. As I read it, the the um, nine period moving average is still way over the 14. The stochastic is now under 80%, the MACD is weak, but that 9 over the 14 says it'll take some time if it's going to have a digestive phase here, which I think is about to happen because the dollar is for the first time actually attempting a little bit of a rally. And we've got the dollar uh, now down 9 ticks at 102.19, but intraday it went to 102.61. This does start a gray leg A in the daily chart. We'll see if we can hold. We're looking at the um, uh, bonds. TLT, uh, TLT right now is trading at uh, up 31 at 106.63, just stuck in a range. As I said, I think that yields are stuck in a range. And if you're looking at crude oil, look at this. Crude oil is trading uh, up 40 cents at 78.31, but in the lower range. So a lot of us says that we've got kind of a mixed market right now. It's very selective. Some areas are doing well. Some areas are just kind of uh, filtering out. And if you look at something like an Exxon, which has been spectacular, it came out with earnings, and it is down 42 cents at 113.14, up in the higher range, but kind of digesting gains. I'll be back in a moment for the Tiger Technicians Hour. Check out my opening call daily newsletter. See you in a few moments. Great programming.